Hello and welcome back to Never Denies 2, where we're back at the Elven Ruins of Angerard. And, uh, well, we've switched out the party a little bit. I was thinking and, uh, well, firstly we also cleaned out our inventory a lot. So that's much less of a mess now, but I was thinking, you know what? Ancient Elvens of the area, we Everyone might need Eleni on this. She might know a lot and, I yeah, concur. sand for more scholarly knowledge. Yes. And so if we have to know for the insert of it, so... And that does mean yes. we pretty much have no, um... We have no thievings right now, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, we won't be needing it too much, but we'll see. Alright, so let's try the Statue of Purification. In ancient times, the Guardian was created to protect the old farm. If the time has come to dismantle our great instrument, you will be an agent of its destruction. Take this blessing of camaraderie. May its power strike down all who oppose you and your allies. That seems really easy to get, you know? Does anyone the first part of the ritual get this? is complete. Our enemy's home is everywhere darkness lies. Know that though the King of Shadows may become legions, this ritual may still be used to drive him back. The ritual purification. You receive the aura, uh, the aurora chain. Ability which causes the spots weapons to do additional positive energy damage. We access via the drop down menu. That's cool. We should put that in our uh, actual in our thing. Let's actually have a try at that special abilities. Yeah, Aurora's chain. Let's can we drop this? And normally we can actually maybe it can be done from the character sheet. Aurora's chain, here we go. Put this here. Yeah, all right. I don't know how often we can use that, but... Uh, oh, we also got some stuff. So, Butcher of Ember, wrongfully accused. Hawk Slayer, Merchant Friend, Master Orator. Captain of Crossroad Keat, City Watch, Blessed of Queen, Squire of Neverwinter. Merchant Friend. Okay, I guess that was uh, something from my youth. Anyways, let's go back into the keep now that we have the master's blade, shield and uh, all that. And we can probably open this, uh, that uh, secret chamber that the ogre was trying to get into downstairs. This just repeats the riddle. Well, we have all those parts, so... How quiet and peaceful it is now. Uh, I guess Gallo's corpse is still here. Yeah, because we put stuff on him so he doesn't rot. Good! Gives us a reminder of that asshole. Actually, we still have his head. And we don't really have a use for his head, so I figure actually... Let's give his head back to him! Yeah, that's nice. We're nice. So, Gallo! Here you go, you can have your head back. Don't go becoming a Dullahan or something. Dullahan being a headless horseman. Anyway, I think we can try and get in here now. Let's attempt to open the door. Yes, because we have all the stuff as long as the master returns. Okay, it's... It's just this, okay. In ancient times, the Guardian was created to protect the old farm. If the time has come to dismantle our great instrument, you will be an agent of its destruction. Take this blessing of protection. May it guard you against the forces of darkness. Yeah, the ogre would be really disappointed if we finally got into this chamber. The second part of the ritual is complete. Each part of the ritual prepares you for what is to come. Our enemy wears many forms. 
but all of them are darkness. Many forms of darkness. Know that when you surround yourself with the power this ritual bestows, you can protect yourself from his reach. Keep this shield close in the dark places in which we walk. Shining shield ability, so that's kind of like a protection spell. Let's throw that into our quick slots. We become really holy man. Yes, extra holy man. And yes, well, that completes the stuff here. Actually, let's see if Rip Smasher is still about. Maybe we can bring him back to Crossword Keep or something now that everyone's dead in here. Or maybe he's just too insane. We'll see. So upstairs we go. Where is he? Hello, Rip Smasher. He's too busy to talk to us. I guess he is not coming along. Ah, yeah, no. Okay. Bye, Rip Smasher. Not much in the way of ribs here, but uh, you know, you do you. Or someone else's ribs. Okay, now there were actually some uh, mines and some other ruins we found not too far from here, so. Maybe we can have a look see at that. Do we still actually have the. Oh, I guess we keep this stuff. I don't know if we want to keep this stuff. I probably need to find like a uh, a space back in uh, back in the keep to store like plot items we no longer need. Because I'm a little bit loath to just leave them in a random chest. About that feels wrong. Okay, so where else can we go? Oh, there's a path up here. Let's follow that. That's the game theme music. How nice. I know this may be an ill found portal. The Ilfan had such portals called Song Portals that linked the vast empire together. They were locked by singing, by the singing of the Ilfan people rather than keys of metal and stone. Okay, cool. As we don't know the song, we should, should we have brought the gnome along? Gosh darn, hope not. Because that does not seem like the type of person you would take to such an archaeological expedition. Now he seems to be interested in everything, so maybe it would. Okay, so down here... Oh wait, that's the keep. We just came from there. So up here... Ah, there, there's mines! That's probably where the dwarves of Ilfon live. Because Ilfon was a joint empire of elves and dwarves, you know. Pretty cool. upon the floor still hey you sound a lot like sand feet. what Do all elves sound alike am i racist blood to this empire of spirits who are you in life my name was balor now there are none with tongues or minds to speak it i was the lore keeper here before darkness came to ilfarn I'm looking for the statues of purification. Has the guardian returned then? I heard the whispers, but I did not believe. His echoes are strong in this place, and the tides of spirits ebb and flow, signifying little. Ah, we have a wisdom option. What guardian? Do you mean the King of Shadows? Perhaps I do. Ages pass and names change. 
I have existed longer as a spirit than as a breathing, blooded elf, and I know little of the world beyond my books. The Guardian was once a man, a hero of Ilfarn in days long gone. He saw more clearly than most. He saw the threats that might destroy all we had built, and he sacrificed everything that our empire might live. A creature of magic he became, and an extension of the very weave. Our enemies, the men of Netheril, feared ah. to face him, so they turned their eyes to weaker prey. By the Guardian's sacrifice, Ilvan was saved. Uh, we kind of know about the weave. Uh, it's the uh, basically the ley lines of magic that run throughout the world. Go on! We thought the weave eternal, an endless font of life from which the Guardian might draw. Kind of is. In this, we were wrong. The weave failed, and the Guardian faced a choice. Allow himself to die and leave Ilfarn undefended, or draw his life from another source. For the sake of his people, the Guardian turned to the weave's dark twin, and thus, he became a creature of shadow. So that happens at the end of uh, the fall of Nedril when Karsus uh, tried to become the uh, god of magic and as her self-defense response, uh, Mistral killed herself to basically stop magic from working for actually a very brief moment only, like a little, very little time, but it was enough for all magic to fail and yeah, then everything went wrong. I don't know if the Shadow Weave actually did still work during that time. I guess I suppose so, because uh, Char was not destroyed. She is kind of like the master of the Shadow Weave. But I don't know. Mm, let's ask a bit more. Uh, the Weave's Dark Twin? The Shadow Weave. A source of magic that was forbidden to us as mages of Ilfarn. I knew little of it in life, and I know little more in death. The Shadow Weave? Nothing good ever comes from tapping into that source of magic. It'll give you strength for a while, but its power can drive one mad. Yeah, that's the big negative of it. Yeah, you go insane from that sort of shit. Your guardian's tale is unfortunate, but he must be stopped. Actually, do you don't believe that he is evil? I am merely a historian, and my judgments are of little consequence. Speak to others who knew him, if you wish to answer that question for yourself. Their spirits linger here still. Your guardian's tale is unfortunate, but he must be stopped. So our leaders also believed. They devised the ritual of purification that we might weaken the Guardian. The words are recorded upon five statues. One such statue is here. And the statue lies within the stone communion tree, a blending of arboreal and terrestrial. It symbolized the union of Ilfarn's dwarven and elven peoples. Opening the tree requires similar unity. Three elves and three dwarves of Ilfarn spaced equally around its trunk. Ah, here Without we are, these six, the tree will remain close to you. Put the symbolism. Uh, no. Uh, where will we find these three dwarves, uh, elves and dwarves of Ilfarn? They're all dead, right? The spirits of Ilfarn dwell here. Elves and dwarves who were bound closely to the we Guardian dwarf, and the man he us. was in life. Oh. His memory hangs heavy on their souls. If you gather these spirits to you, then the tree shall open to reveal what it cradles within. These spirits are bound to the Guardian, but you are not? No, I am not like them. They are bound here against their wills, but I have chosen to guard these scrolls. So I only need to gather these spirits then. It is not so simple. 
Just as the Guardian has fallen into shadow, so have those who were tied to him. Their torment has spawned a legion of foul undead, manifestations of their pain and sorrow. Oh, Destroy shit. these undead, and I believe their spirits would reappear, for a time at least. So we're going on that stomping this episode. So if I were to just kill or destroy these undead, that might be enough? Yes. But there is more. More that is my doing, I'm afraid. If you intend to bring spirits to the communion tree, you must undo the wards on the walls of these ruins. The ghost lights, which keep the spirits at bay. What are these ghost lights? They are the wards designed to shelter and trap the spirits within these ruins so they cannot spread their taint beyond this place. To your eyes, the ghost lights glow with a blue light, but to the spirits of my people, the glow is like that of the sun, a searing light that they cannot approach. As long as the ghost lights burn, light. the spirits cannot reach the tree. How do I uh, extinguish them then? The touch of the living is enough. When they are touched by one that lives, they will go out. And once they are extinguished, the spirits may pass. I have a lot of questions about this place, so... My knowledge is yours. So... What was the Guardian like before his corruption? Understand this. The Guardian was an embodiment of the Weave with a singular purpose. That purpose was to preserve Ilfarn and to destroy its enemies should they attack. But he used to be a man. Surely something of his personality survived. A ritual was devised to create the Guardian. It was meant to obliterate the man he was, leaving only his resolve to defend our nation. This was his sacrifice. Whether anything remained of the man I knew, I cannot say. What can you tell me of Hilfan? The memories of our empire are painful ones. Even to speak of it now is difficult. At times I wonder if perhaps my memories of Ilfan are a dream. But always, the books here center my thoughts and remind me of the truth of what once was. I know not the name of the land this must that be some very valuable now, history here, right but here. once, long ago, it was a unified empire. Lands that welcomed humans and dwarves within its borders. Oh, I did not know humans were. I thought it was just dwarves and elves. Interesting. So what happened? Together, these people achieved a strength seldom seen in those times. But as all empires have a beginning, the end must come as well. Perhaps we erred in seeking to prevent that end. But it is difficult to simply let something one loves die without fighting to protect it. What do you protect it from? We had enemies, as all empires do. The Orc tribes of the North plagued our borders. But our greatest enemies were the humans of Netherrealm, who took the magics that we had shared with them and built an empire of their own. But yes. their empire grew so swiftly and wild. The people of Ilfarn had grown slowly and carefully, like a garden, but the humans of Netheril had little patience for such things. As they tasted power, they hungered for more. That is true. The, like, uh, Netheril was very much, uh, very much, um, illustrate, what would you mean? Defined by its power hunger. It was a very, they were not necessarily evil, but Definitely power hungry and a little bit paranoid of losing all that power. Though they had their own enemies that were evil, so it seems like honestly there was not a real good guy bad guy here as they uh, as they draw it. 
I don't know if Ilfon had any dark sides though, besides this guardian that they apparently made. Sounds like you had dangerous enemies. We meant no harm in sharing our knowledge. We had assumed that it would be used as we used it. Carefully. Responsibly. The Netherese were like children, playing with the land and the skies as if they were toys for their amusement. The art is not meant for such things, and terrible are the consequences of abusing such power. But the fall of our empire came not from them. The darkness that came upon us had another source. Yeah, your own making, the Guardian. Yes. When the Guardian turned to the Shadow Weave, our empire crumbled. Our trees withered, their lives drained to feed his. Our people simply waned. Dwarves set down their tools and stared numbly as their forges went cold. Elves lay down in their forests, motionless for days and weeks as the wild things grew and smothered them. A few of us fled to the That's outer reaches of Ilfarn, where the Guardian Shadow apathy. was still weak. There we plotted to end him. You said that we failed. How could this be? We can't know At this the time, kind of we did not know. Even now, I have only scraps of truth gleaned from hapless visitors to this place in the early years of my undeath. As far as I know, the fault lies with the Netherese mage, Carsus. He tried to take control of the Weave to become the new god of magic. This was madness, and he failed, of course. But in failing, he slew he did not the fail, goddess of fail. magic. She was reborn moments later, but in that instant, all magic failed. That was the end for Netheril's floating cities, and it should have been the end for our guardian as well. But the guardians of five were turning to the Shadow Weave. Yes. And in so doing, he doomed that which he sought to protect. How did your people fight the King of Shadows then? Three times we tried to end him, and only on the third attempt did we partially succeed. Three times what happened exactly? We turn first to the Silken Sisters. Six spells words of tremendous power. Even the Netheril feared them, and we thought that they must prevail against the Guardian. Their fate was too terrible for words. Suffice to say that they failed. Hmm. And the second attempt? Then did the priest Anias devise the ritual of purification by which we might weaken the Guardian. A great gathering of wizards and priests assembled to confront the Guardian. I was but a minor power in that host, but I remember those last hours well. We spoke the ritual, and it functioned as Anias had hoped. Okay, but that was the second time and obviously did not succeed, but you didn't succeed. No, we were not entirely united in purpose. Okay, that needs some explaining, but I don't see the option for that. The third attempt then. Regrettably that victory is not recorded in these scrolls, nor was I a witness. At least one such witness still walks these halls, I believe. You might ask him if you can ease his torment for a time. I think then we've asked pretty much everything. Farewell. Okay, well, let's have a little look, see, see if there's anything even worth. Oh, there's a lot of scrolls. There's a lot of scrolls. And I guess he doesn't mind me just taking the spell scrolls, because it's not history or something. Yeah, we're going to have to subdivide this once again in our inventory, because scrolls... You know, they take space. Annoying amount. Oh, 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 there's undead there. Is there anything more? No, we got it all. Okay, so time for undead bashing. Yeah. 
Oh right, I switched to the uh, ranged weapons. That's right. Is that a? F that's a fucking lich. Okay, elven lich, but still, that's basically a lich. Okay. Uh, well. That is uh, a challenge. Guys, maybe we should be fighting the Lich! Wow! Okay, uh, well we can try and heal him, but uh, actually that's a good idea. Hey Lich! Here, have some healing, bitch! That didn't work. Have some other healing, bitch! Yeah, that worked! Heal it some more! So that yes. did not go well for us. And toss is for Okay, let's have a little chatty with the uh, former lady. Is it done then? Has the fool ended himself? Or did the ritual fail entirely? This shade is cycling through events of the past, and perhaps has been ever since its death. I cannot say this for certain, but it is likely the one he is speaking of is the one who became the Guardian. Sounds like it. He also sounds a lot like Thomas, but you know, I think that's just the uh, limits of the budget. Did you know him? Him? You mean... You mean... He who became the Guardian? Yes. We aren't even allowed to use his name, you know that? Yes, I knew him. Knew him? Taught him, and watched him toss it all away. I did not tutor that boy for twenty years, only to have him turned into some mindless monstrosity. A waste, I say. Well, he did choose his own fate, did he not? Oh, yes. Chose it himself. Ever the patriot he was. Sacrifices must be made for the good of all. Ilfarn is a great nation, and preserving it is our responsibility. Well, I say this. Let the weak and the worthless make the sacrifices. Oh, there's some bitterness. That boy had a mind in his bone cage. He might have advanced the study of magic, but instead he threw it all away for love of country. Patriotism, a foolish notion now. <laughs> to sacrifice all for his nation, that's a noble thing. I heard how it ended for him, lying there screaming for near a hundred days with that fool girl at his bedside, as the weave slowly burned away what was left of him, bit by bit. But he got his wish, didn't he? Lost himself and became the guardian all that he was, all gone. I need you to come and help me. Can you come with me? Yes, I suppose I will follow. Okay, well, that was a little bit of uh, stuff. I think he can just, yeah, walk straight to there because it's right there, the stone tree. That's a nice stone tree, by the way. I like it. Very nicely. Uh, I wouldn't mind that as an art piece. Anyways, I think, uh, well, this is the first time we have, I think, a lot of this ruin to go, as we have, well, still five uh, of these fellows to find. Hopefully they're not all liches. So join me next time when we explore more of these ruins. Till then, bye-bye.